Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Well, it's time for another Tools and Tech Tuesday, and a lot of you have asked me how to set up the 5G gateway from T-Mobile for their home internet service. So why don't we walk through that right now? Okay, first things first, you need to plug in the power cord to an outlet or extension cord, and then plug the other end into the router. Once you do that, hit the power button on the back of the router to turn it on. All right, next you're gonna see that I'm using my iPad to set this up and I wanna save you some time because I was going around in circles in a loop trying to understand why the app wouldn't connect to this device. And I finally realized that I already had the app on the iPad from the previous generation and maybe that they had updated it. And sure enough, once I updated the app and restarted my iPad, it worked just fine. Next up, if you haven't done it already, you're gonna to wanna to go to the iOS App Store or the Google Play Store and download the app. And if you already have the app, make sure that it's up to date. The icon for the app looks like this. Next, we're gonna tap on the app to open it. Once the app opens, you'll see this screen and you'll scroll all the way down and hit the magenta and white button. I tried not to scroll too fast so you could pause the video and read it if you wanted to. Next, you're gonna see that it tells you to go to settings and join the default Wi-Fi network that the thing creates when you plug it in. You'll find the default Wi-Fi network that it creates as well as the default password on the sticker on the bottom of the gateway. So go to your settings and join that network. The footage didn't turn out, but the next step is to go back into the app and scan the QR code that's on that same sticker on the bottom of the gateway. So when you go back into the app, you'll scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see a magenta button to scan your QR code. Okay, and the next screen is where you can customize your Wi-Fi network name, your Wi-Fi password, and your administrator password that you will use in order to get into the router and change its settings. Once you do that and you hit the submit button on the bottom, you're either done or you may see a screen that looks like this. And this is just telling you that you don't have the best signal quality possible. And it'll give you tips on where you can move the gateway to get the best signal possible. Once you do that, you're done setting up the gateway itself. You'll see a screen that looks like this telling you that you're done. So if you find that the Wi-Fi signal is not as strong as you'd like it to be, you can connect an external router. And in order to do that, you're gonna take either the included cable or you're gonna take maybe a cable that came with your router or you can buy one. And you're gonna connect one end to one of these yellow LAN ports and then the other end to the WAN port on your router. And from there, just follow the directions that came with your router. Regarding what cable to use, this is the one that came with the T-Mobile Gateway. And generally speaking, the bigger the number, the better. If it has an E after it, then it's better than the number without the E. So Cat5E is better than Cat5. Cat6E is better than Cat6. Some people have said that Cat5 is good enough. And while technically it'll work, so that's true. However, I kind of disagree in the fact that if you want the best performance that you can afford, I don't think most people would have a problem paying 20 some dollars for 100 feet of Cat 6E. Here's the cable that I got. When I first set it up, I got pretty atrocious speeds. When I moved the gateway over by a window that faces the cell phone tower, even though I was still on the ground floor of the house, I got increased speeds. 
In the next video in this series, I'd like to answer some more questions from you guys, as well as test the claim that the Wi-Fi radio in this new gateway is stronger than the old one. So please let me know if there's anything that you want me to test. And there you go. That's how you set up the T-Mobile 5G gateway for their home internet service. As you see, it's not too difficult. Hopefully this video was useful for you. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you next time. And there you go. That's how. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Well, it's time for another Tools and Tech Tuesday, and a lot of you have. There. It's time for another Tools and Tech Tuesday, and a lot of you have asked me to how. To...